Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Toys R Us exclusive Planet of the Apes action figures Gorilla Soldier Infantry 2 pack by NECA. One of the things I like about this 2 pack is that neither of these heads is a rehash of the previous Gorilla Soldier head. The hair is different, and the face is different. Uh, the original Gorilla Soldier, his mouth was closed. These are both sculpted with their mouths open. Uh, and even that's slightly different. You got this one here that uh, has just a regular mouth kind of open. And then this one, if you look, he's kind of got a snarl. His, his bottom right lip is kind of curling, and I dig that. Um, let's take a closer look at this one, because I think they did a really good job with the actual sculpt of his head. I like the kind of wrinkles underneath his eyes. I like the way they handled his nose and his mouth. I like that you could see his teeth, like underneath his lip. I think the lip snarl looks great. Um, and the actual sculpt of his hair looks good as far as like these sort of background soldiers go. He doesn't have as much detailed hair as the previous gorilla soldier, but he does look pretty good. This one also I think they did a good job with. I like his sort of mouth agape. Again, I like the fact they painted the teeth in there. The teeth look really good to me. Um, and he's got the same kind of basic hair sculpt going on for him too. Um, one thing to be on the lookout for, I saw a lot of inconsistencies with the paint on these. The Toys R Us I went to had like 10 of them. And I went through all of them, and one of the problems I had was just like their uh, their eye paint. You'll see like this one that I'm showing you right here, the kind of paint of the eyeballs gets kind of blurry. So his like, eyeballs, like the white looks kind of pink. There were some where the teeth weren't painted or the paint bled out of the mouth. And there were just some that had like cross eyes or the, again, the, the eye paint was really kind of poorly done. So if you care about that sort of stuff, be on the lookout. Now, uh, this is the same basic figure as the original Gorilla Soldier. So it's got the same articulation. It's got the same well-sculpted outfit. It's got the same kind of wrinkles in the sleeves. Uh, I, again, I dig the gloves. I dig the leather. I dig the pants. I think the ankle articulation for the boot is a nice touch. I like the fact there's kind of brown dirt at the bottom of the boots. It's not the same basic color. They actually kind of dirtied the bottoms, which is great. Um, the addition for this is the backpack on the back, and I think it's really well sculpted. It's got a good shape, but also the fact they sculpted the wrinkles into it, the edge of it sort of flapping up on the side. I think that's a nice touch. Here's a look at this gorilla. It's the same figure as far as like the body the gloves, the outfit, you know, the boots, all of it. It's the same figure, including the backpack, but this is meant to be like a, an army building infantry set, and, you know, they all did wear the same outfit, so that's pretty appropriate. I like his face a lot. I like the kind of red that just highlights the cheeks. It's like a really deep per burgundy on his nose and cheeks, uh, as opposed to this skin paint, which bleeds into his hair. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but almost all the ones I saw looked like that. One thing worth noting is that uh, this one does not come with the shoulder strap that the original Gorilla Soldier came with. Um, and if you look at Beneath in the Planet of the Apes, almost every single soldier that's wearing a backpack has the little chest shoulder strap. Like, all of them. Like, look in any shot, they're all wearing that strap. In, like, a group of 50, you'll maybe see, like, one or two extras in the background without that strap. But, like, when they're invading, you know, at the end, when they're out in the uh, Forbidden Zone in the desert, they all have that strap. So I'm kind of bummed that they don't come with that. I know it's meant to, like, separate it from the original figure, but they all had that. Some of them didn't have the pockets, but... I kind of wish it was a little more screen accurate they included that little shoulder strap. Now we'll take a look at the accessories, and I really like this rifle. I think they did a great job painting it so that it looks like wood, like it really does read well. And the details on the front and the, the top there are great, including this little slide-out knife action, which is awesome. And I think the strap looks really good too, like it has a nice little decent leathery feel to it. Uh, this rifle we've seen before with previous uh, NECA Planet of the Apes figures, and I think it looks good. Um, he also comes with two batons, one for each figure. Um, notice that there's no loop in these batons because there's no uh, shoulder strap for them to attach to. Uh, we also have a grip hand for each and they each come with one of these little uh, you know like attack sticks and one of the things I like about it is that it has this little slide action on here so you can you know get a little loop at the end and uh, trap some humans with it. Um, fun fact though is that in the actual film the rope that's uh, on these sticks is a lot lighter of a color. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a cool looking accessory, but it was never this dark of a brown in the film. One weird thing about this gun is it doesn't fully grip into his hand. Or maybe I should say his hand doesn't fully grip onto the gun. You can kind of get his fingers in and smoosh his thumb to the side if, you, if that doesn't bother you. Or what I recommend is you kind of put his thumb in there and then hook it and swing the rest of the fingers around and wedge them in. At least his thumb goes in, but it doesn't go in all the way. But it looks decent enough if you bend the wrist the right way. 
Now this other gun does have a hole here for the trigger, but his hand is not sculpted with his index finger out to be on the trigger. It's just sort of sculpted just to hold the gun like so. I don't normally like variants like this, where it's not even a repaint, it's just the same figure as before, but with like an alternate head or some alternate accessories. But in the case of Planet of the Apes and beneath the Planet of the Apes, there's a massive gorilla army in those films. And I think an army building set makes a lot of sense. And this is a good army building set because they're different enough that they don't all look the same. They've got like different hairstyles than before, slightly different accessories, different face sculpts, different face paints. And I dig that. It doesn't make them look identical. They look different enough that it doesn't irritate me. And I think they look really good on the shelf of General Ursus. I dig these. Thanks for watching.